Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel tonight. We are looking at Star Citizen version 3.23.x. And I'm going to teach you how to get, if you're in Lorville and you picked Hurston or Lorville as your home world, this means that you're going to start in the same situation that I am in right now, laying on this bed in a hotel or easy hab in the city of Lorville on Hurston. And so let us go ahead and get started. I, we're basically just going to walk to the airport and I'm going to show you how to get your ship because I know that you've come in here and like, what the heck? And you've never played before and you have no idea where to go. So this is your hab um, in here right now in the game. There's really nothing much you can do now. If maybe in the future you can make coffee and satisfy your drinks, maybe put some weapons up. I have a feeling this is going to become later in game, something that's going to be very useful. But anyway, let's leave. So we're going to walk to the door. To operate the door, you're just gonna you're gonna look at it so you see that blue open F and you click F. There you go. And that opens the door. And now we're gonna walk out into this lobby area. The interesting thing about these lobbies, and this Lorville is unique in that if you start on the bottom floor, which you can sometimes, usually elevators are at the bottom, right? Well, in this city, if you come out and you're like, where the heck is the elevator? You might want to look upstairs if you're on the bottom floor. So if you come out on one of these halves, just for example, you come out here and you're like, where am I? And you look around, you see guys hanging out playing pool. There's a window on that end and there's nothing on this end. And you're like, I'm forever stuck in here. No, you're not. You just have to go upstairs. The other halves are much simpler, easier to get out of. But this one's a little bit weird for some reason. But now, you know. So once again, we look at this and we press F. And that's going to call the elevator. Elevator takes about, you know, two or three seconds to arrive. There's somebody else that's going to go play. And now we press F and we hit ground floor. And I'm holding F to do that. So I hold F down. And with my mouse, I point to ground floor and I hit ground floor. So let this guy go. Once again, if I want to go back up to my hab, I can click on the floor that it's on. I don't think we'll ever be able to get back in, though. Once you leave a hab, currently it's done. So once again, hold F, use your mouse. You can move your mouse around, and you're going to point to ground floor. And that's where we're going to go down there. I just want to make sure I make that clear so that you're not lost and wondering what to do. And so we arrive back on the first floor. And we're going to exit the hotel, or HAB. So let's go ahead out. And you're going to get your first view of the city of Hurston. Here's a big dump of water. You can see signs for Tisa Spaceport. That is where your ship is going to be held, but we are not at the airport. The airport's, that's actually the main airport building over there with the flashing beacon on top. But we're going to have to take a train to get over there. There's a tram. So we're going to turn left as you go through here. You're going to turn left and go up the stairs. And there's nothing marked here. You can see why people get lost. You're going to turn left again. And then if you go to the right, there's some other trams going different places. And there's also a hospital and some shops where you can buy clothing uh, and utilities and drinks and stuff like that. But that's not where we're going. We're going left again. So we've gone left, left and left down the stairs. And here you can see a sign saying, hey, turn right for the perimeter line and the spaceport line. Well, we want to go to the spaceport. And yes, those trams do work. There is a perimeter line that functions. It goes to like 10 different stops all around the city. Um, there's also a spaceport line that goes directly to the spaceport. And there's a separate line elsewhere in the town that goes to the central business di district where you can buy and sell commodities and weapons for your ship. So this is why it's easy to get lost. So here it says here again, turn left. So we turn left. And here we have the train waiting for us. I'm going to run because it's going to go away if we don't. Sometimes the train will be here. Sometimes it won't. There is a marker that looks just like this at the station that tells you, hey, it's going to be this many seconds for the ship to arrive. So now we're going to ride the tram, and it takes us all the way there. So I'll catch you when we get there. Now, these trams here just go back and forth um, to the airport. You don't have to worry about getting off at any other stops. Some of the other planets have shared systems. So, like, the tram will stop at the spaceport and then go on to the hotel and then go on to the shops and then come back and go, you know, so you got to, this one's not like that. You can just go back and forth. So it's nice. And we are already at the spaceport. See how easy that was? Our hotel was over there. And now we're on the other side because it's just such a fast tram, fast and efficient. 
And here we've arrived at Tisa Spaceport. So now we can walk on up, and I'm going to speed walking up because he walks awful slow. And Okay, here's where you can get lost again. If you go to the right, you're going to get on another tram to the Central Business District, but we don't want that. See how, and see how not confusing this is? <laughs> That's what we did. We just did the Central Line from... Oh, I'm sorry. No, we didn't. We did the Spaceport Line, the blue line. But you can see here this perimeter line. Anyway, let's go ahead this way. And we're just going to follow all these hallways that go on forever through security. Making sure that we have our weapons on us. Because you can walk right through here with weapons. It doesn't matter. And we come up to the Lorville Terminal. So we are now in the spaceport proper. And over here on the left, you're going to see your display. This is the Fleet Manager, also known as the ASOP Terminal. And there's several of them available. So if people are working, you can usually find one that's open. We just walk up to it and press F. Now we can use our mouse. And you can see here, when you first get here, if you have only one ship, which is probably since you're new, you probably will just have one ship. Let's say the arrow. Maybe you bought a fighter. You're going to have this deliver status. The first time you use a ship in the game, you have to use deliver. Once this happens, you won't have to do this again. But they, they had to do this because before uh, there was an issue with the game getting really slow. And for some, so for some reason, this, this fixed it. I don't know why this fixed it, but for some reason, it created a buffer that helped the game run smoother. So now we pick the ship and we say deliver. And you got to wait for a minute. And you're going to say request delivery. And it tells us it's now delivered. So now when we come back to the arrow, you can see here the status has changed from deliver to retrieve. So we're going to go ahead and click on our arrow. And we're going to click retrieve. And it's telling us, hey, your vehicle's now in hangar six. Great. Now what? Well, we have to go down to the hangar. So at Lorville, you can see New Deal over there. That's a ship dealership. We want to turn right at New Deal. And here's where the elevators are. And there's elevators both over here and elevators over there. And they all work. They all go to the same place. Come over here. You press F to open the door. There it is. And we're going to go and we said Hangar 6. Now, here's a cool thing. If you look at your ship, it says Hangar 6. So you can figure out, oh, yeah, that's right, Hangar 6. I forgot what Hangar I was in. Well, I'm in Hangar 6. So we press F. I use my arrow key, and I picked the door. Now, here's the funny thing. If you get there and you miss the doors and you're like, oh, God, I missed the doors because they will close after a couple seconds. We'll let that happen. There's a simple way to fix this. <laughs> Down at the bottom here, you'll see this yellow button light lit up and it says doors. So once again, I'm pressing F and I'm moving my mouse and I'm going to pick doors and that'll open up the door again to the place I'm at. And voila, there is our arrow. And so now we're ready to go fly, except for that's a whole tutorial in itself. So I am going to make a video uh, in the next 24 hours that will be released that has uh, how, to, how to Fly Your Ship version 3.23. Don't watch my older tutorial because that's no longer valid. There's a whole bunch of changes that happened since last time. But basically, they're showing you where you can get in the ship. The canopy is what you're going to point at. And you hold down the F button, and you have a bunch of things that you can pick. We can loot the ship. We can open storage. We can do something that I can't read. We can open the ladder or we can enter the pilot seat. Well, in this case, we want to enter the pilot seat. And so that's going to open up and we're going to get on up into the ship. And this is where we'll pick up in the tutorial on how to fly your ship. But we're now sat in our ship and we're ready to go. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up, voice help, and we will see you in the verse. Welcome to Star Citizen.